There are so many things in Warframe that we all do that none of us want to do. Mine, at least for today, will be picking up this for 8,000 standing. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but I can't wait anymore. And this for another 8,000 standing. To go to Necroloid, oh, 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 mouse go a bit ballistic. Go to uh, Browse Ways and say, ha ha, I already have the blueprint for you. I already have the blueprint for you. Oh yes, um, that's not what I was thinking it was. Yes it is. I already have the blueprint for the stock. The receiver and the barrel. But buying these is 4,000 standing each. The blueprint is 8. When you level it up to 3, I strongly suggest you just pick up the blueprint for this. For the weapon. And then it's 12,000 standing to pick up the parts. And then you just have to go live inside of a vault until you have all of the parts. The barrel is the easiest to get. Then the receiver and the stock. Roughly in that order, and you can see I have already preemptively built almost everything for this apart from the gems. I hate farming gems, but considering this thing's nearly maxed anyway, um, and this is already built, I don't even think, will it actually turn around and say one owned? No, just can't level it because that bug is currently active at the time I record this. It's time to build the Cortega. Corteggy? Cortege. The flamethrower. But it's a uh, only one minute per part and I love the fact that dropping that one saved me from having to wait an extra minute to build the rest of these so set these off then go claim 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 build this one however does take 12 hours which is why I'm doing this now because I ain't spending 25 platinum there it is claim Thankfully, it does come pretty gravamagged, so you can, no idea what that was, use it straight away with your frame. Will, of course, have to, what? Guess it doesn't come with a gravamag installed, they've just, if they're going to change the system that means that you need to add a gravamag instead of a catalyst, um, I want access to this. Devastating alt fire, a heavy flamethrower with surprising range. This thing should be really good. This is also the gun that you see sitting on the floor by all the dead necromex. Oh, how wrong I was. It does have an alternate fire mode, but it's not what you would expect. Just like the other arc gun of this update, you have to charge it, that blue screen, little screen, the blue part in the middle of the screen, underneath the crosshair, that charges it. Now if we give them a second so enemies can start coming and alt fire. Mm-hmm. Flame thrower. Because you throw out fire grenades that sit there and have a wide radius to it. This weapon? does not have an amazing radius to it. Okay, these are fairly low level enemies, but that's because I just jumped in to do Maru's Bazaar before I forgot about it. I don't think I've actually picked it up in quite a while. After that mission, and thought, wow, if I can actually get this guy to spawn, that would be quite amazing because... Oh, I, did, I expected it to be a flamethrower, not a flame grenade thrower. Because it says flamethrower. And it kind of looks like a flamethrower. It's a beam based weapon, I would say, more than a flamethrower. Oh, the reload. The reload has issues. Now, where are you? Juggernaut. It's got to be around somewhere. Alright, Juggernaut. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Where'd you go? Where's the Juggernaut go? I'll hear it when he does that. He's bounced off a wall and disappeared. Oh, don't tell me he is straight up despawned. Because he went through me here. He's still around somewhere. Because his uh, little vomit is there. 
There you are. Ah, stand up. Can't knock down. Have a flamethrower. Okay. That just insta-killed the juggernaut. Just gone. Melted. Okay, so the old fire mode of this? Little bit powerful. But this was a great example of not judging a weapon when you first start to use it. The first time I used this, the alternate fire, you have to fill that little blue bar. Not working, I instantly kind of thought this thing was complete rubbish. After using it for a bit and dropping a few former into it, I was actually quite impressed. That secondary fire mode there, you can't shoot well, you can't fire for a few moments after actually doing it, but it, yeah, I, I grew very amazed at this very quickly, and it kind of replaced everything for my arc gun, the one that I gravamagged and actually use. This is now basically my permanent gravamagged weapon, because it just works so well, that alternate fire, it it has a nice radius without being too much. It has a nice range. It's just, it's an all round pretty decent weapon. Kind of wish this was just a primary though, rather than it being a gravamag weapon. Because if this was just a primary, it would have been so much better of a weapon. But as an orc gun that you have to gravamag and everything else, I was literally just looking at it. Here it is. With that in there as well, that's 4.3 times damage multiplier on 46 and a bit thousand damage. The normal fire mode isn't bad. The secondary fire mode, oh, it is completely and utterly insane, making this thing worth the former. Prime example of why I wish I'd left the armor on would be when you start to do isolated vaults, oh, sorry, isolation vaults, and you realize very quickly it's not cutting through the armor therefore you're not filling up the secondary fire mode which would make this thing kind of really good to use right now mind you once you do fill up that uh, secondary it will basically kill anything and everything around until you get knocked down and get stuck on the floor because why won't you start and back out of the two orc guns that came with the whole update 29 thing i think the moslon is probably still my favorite it does a lot less damage for the alternate fire mode it has slightly more crit though slightly more crit multiplier but I'm sorry this thing um, I'll take the forty six and a half thousand damage for the secondary fire mode makes up for the lack of primary air uh, damage a lot meaning that this well as much as I want to say the Mosul on, I'm going to continue to leave as my main arc gun. I think I'm going to leave this thing on. But I am tempted on just sticking it back to base heat for now and keeping it as an actual flamethrower. Though, I will be leaving gas on it for now as well because, well, I'm kind of using it against the infested and I still have at least two format to go on this thing. Then, I will still leave it equipped because it's, it's strangely... Good. For a flamethrower, it's actually amazing, which is why as a primary weapon, this thing would have been amazing. As an arc gun? Eh... Uh, hmm...